hi there. Um, I've um, got a question, something I don't understand. I'm, I'm reading um, Enjoy Life Forever and looking on the website. Is it possible to help yes. while the room is empty? Um, I can try to help. Thank you. At the moment, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's Matthew 24. If I go to Matthew 24, yes. 34, it talks about a generation. Um, yes. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation, singular, will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Matthew 24, 34. Yes. I've been told that this is an overlapping generation. You've been teaching this for the last 12 years or so. Um, where's that in yes. the Bible? Where does the Bible say that the any generation in the Bible is an overlapping generation? Uh, well, I don't know if it will actually say that it, a generation is, is an overlapping generation, but when it comes to generations in general normally they they span numbers of years so they, they tend to overlap i i think of one uh person that i know he has two grown-up daughters mm -hmm. they're they're in their mid-20s but he also has one that's like six years old and so when i think of that that's definitely an overlapping Um, Matthew, who wrote Matthew twenty four thirty four, in chapter 1, gives us a genealogy. Yes. He talks about, uh, in Matthew 1, yes. 2, Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah. And it, it goes through, it gives yes. 43 names. And in verse 17, it says, so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. From David unto the captivity in Babylon are 14 generations. And from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ are 14 generations. 14 times 3 is 42. 43 names. The book doesn't say they're one generation that all overlap. It doesn't pair them up and say, well, there's 21 generations. Oh. It's 43 <laughs> names and it's 42 generations. Each name is a separate generation. That's how Matthew interprets yes. generation. So shouldn't we take that understanding yes. to Matthew twenty four thirty four? Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. If Matthew twenty four thirty four applies to nineteen fourteen, which it, it oh, can't, so, all those people are dead now. This is the one that it was saying that has it's somewhat. Wait, no. Sorry, hold on. Yes. Yeah. No worries. Sorry. Okay. Uh, then I'll check with you after. Thank you. So yes, I, I I know exactly what you're saying. It's a you know when you're thinking of a generation, you're thinking they, with that they're just giving a name because they're they're saying that that name represents that generation. But when you're thinking of generation as actually alive, a generation can spend and a number of years. And when you're talking about contemporaries, people that they've interacted with, they've dealt with. They are also part of that generation. It's not simply if when they were born, they make that generation, but it is contemporaries of a generation is is what they were talking about. But it's it's a singular. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation is singular, will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Jesus is talking about two things yes. in Matthew twenty four. He's talking about the destruction of the temple, which this generation singular. That he's standing before will not yes. will, will will not die out before they see the destruction of the temple roughly forty years later in, in AD seventy. And then yes. in verse thirty six, but of that day and that hour, he's talking about a different event. He's talking about the second coming and the end of the age. Yes. So a so this generation in, in verse thirty four, I would see as applying to the destruction of Jerusalem. To the destruction of the temple, it's, it's got nothing to do with 1914 at all. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd love to continue this discussion. I, I definitely would love to look it yes. up more. Because I, I definitely, I don't want to be just saying things that I don't fully know or fully understand. But I definitely 
would love to continue this conversation. Right. Well, there's nobody else in the room yet. It's it's just us. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, on a there's a, a another event. Um, there's a chapter from the book that puzzles me. Could we take a quick look if you yes. have time at chapter twenty four? Yeah. Uh, of Enjoy Life Forever? Ch chapter 24. All yeah. right. I'll go there. That's page 99, lesson 24. Two. I am asking my subscribers to please help me. There is no way that I can continue this work speaking to Jehovah's Witnesses here in the UK because so many hundreds of JW congregations have been warned not to speak to me or know about me and won't dialogue with me. In the past month, it has taken hundreds and hundreds of text messages on my mobile phone to fix up these more recent meetings. The only way I can continue this work is with the help of my subscribers. Now, I cannot afford to phone outside of the UK. It would cost thousands of pounds for me to go on jw.org find a meeting, then I could uh, type in a location in Canada, America, Australia, wherever, for instance, in the United States, I could type in Dallas and find all the congregations around Dallas. But for me to phone Dallas from the UK, I, I can't afford to do that. I don't, I don't have the money. Besides which, my phone is limited, so I can only make calls at, inside the UK. Um... But I can't afford to do that. However, if you, one of my subscribers, live outside of the UK, you can call congregations in your country. As long as they're English-speaking congregations, all you have to do is go to jw.org, then you scroll down to attend a meeting, then you click on the box so you can see the local congregations in your area, and you simply type in the box the location. Then you phone them up and you say, I would like to attend a Zoom meeting. And you need the Zoom code. You need the Zoom password. You need the name of the congregation, the town, the city, the state where the congregation is based. Bear in mind, I live in the UK. I know TX is Texas, but I wouldn't have a clue about... Um, state names for uh, some American states or for Canada or, or Australia. So make it simple for me and just send me via email, please, the um, details. And then I can continue this work because to Zoom call these people will cost me nothing. What I will do is if you give me the time uh, for the midweek or the Sunday meeting, I'll simply attend the meeting and try to speak to people before the meeting and after the meeting. But I need help. Please help me. I cannot continue this work unless I get help.